Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise Ahaya, everybody. Praise Ahaya one more time. Praise Ahaya, from whom all blessings flow. Amen, amen. This is your sister Carrie Ann in Yesiah the Christ, Yesiah the Messiah, Yesiah of Nazareth. If you want to know why I call God Ahaya in the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yesiah, I've done a video concerning that one. Greetings, greetings to the 12 scattered tribe of Yashahel. Yashahel is the name given to Jacob. Jacob's name was not changed to Israel. The proper name is Yashahel. So I greet all the Hebrew Yashahelites scattered to the four corners of the earth all over in the diaspora the wicked diaspora <laughs> i greet you all in the precious glorious name for soon coming king yes i the christ and to the beautiful body of christ the church hallelujah whom our great king is coming back for without spot wrinkle or blemish i greet you all in his glorious name yes i the christ all right you can skip this bit and find the main message all right i am going to do some housekeeping um my name is Sister Ann. It is in solid gray border with a tick, ticky, little ticky by the side. Anybody else pretending to be me is a wicked, dirty devil. You need to rebuke and report them. All right. Please watch the video to the end. There's a sinner's part there for you and also the top 20 and the beautiful beloved. And the video, I'll give you a little shout out. All right. Okay. Um... Continue to like the video, subscribe to the channel by hitting the bell notification button and come in the comment section and let us communicate together. All right, brothers and sisters, and thank you for those of you who have blessed me through PayPal. I really appreciate it. Haya, eternally bless you. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. All right, we are near. We're not only near to the returning of the beautiful Messiah. We're also near to the revealing of the dirty Antichrist, the lawless one. All right, we're near to that one. This world will become like Mad Max. You need to read Daniel chapter 7, verse 25. It tells you that Satan through the Antichrist will change times and laws and season. It's going to be given to him in his hands. That word will look like the book of Eli, that post-apocalyptic wicked world, you know, where everything is just evil. That's, <laughs> that is where this world is heading. Nothing good because this is Satan we're dealing with. He's evil. Have to pray to be found worthy. And I believe that that worthiness is the woman in Revelation 12. With the 12 stars around our head that we will escape into the wilderness the 12 scattered tribe of yashahel the great global worldwide second exodus is coming up many of us will go for um safety um into the wilderness and those people who are found worthy will go this is not the sixth seal total two separate events the sixth seal which is the return of Isaiah, and the Second Exodus, which is which is the woman in Revelation 12, two separate event. But the woman in Revelation 12 event comes first before the sixth seal. Hallelujah to his name. Glory be to the most high. All right. Um, we have a prophetic theme song called We Are Near. It's a song that my woman taught me when I was a little girl. She said, sweeties and toys. And when we're near to the stuff, she used to sing, How Near You Are. And the song goes like this. How near you are, how near you are, how near you are, how near you are, you are, oh near you are, how near you are, how near you are, hallelujah, yes. We are near. We can sing that song with right confidence. All right. Remember, I got two ministries. One for the end time prophetic ministries, where I talk about earthquake, tsunami, fallen angel, antichrist, mark of the beast, false prophet, everything wicked. And the second ministry is for the Hebrew and two the Hebrew Yeshaelites scattered to the four corners of the earth. All right. So somebody sent me a link, and I really had to check it out for myself, really and truly. Because I'm saying, Ahaya, <laughs> you never lie, you cannot lie. Listen to me. You see, those of us who have been screaming, not physically screaming, but been talking on top of our voices, and we've been getting the abuses. If it's not abuses, calling us conspiracy theorists, it's, um, you don't know what you're talking about from social media blocking and banning and shadow banning um your stuff concerning the moonshot and the effects of the moonshot now sometime this week what date are we on so we are on the 16th so sometime this week i think it probably was 
maybe the 12th or something like that, 12th or the 13th. There's an MP over here. Listen to me very carefully. There's an MP over here in Babylon, UK, who is standing up for truth. That's all I can call it. And he's calling on the dirty Caesars over here in Babylon, UK, to immediately, immediately call and halt to give in the moonshot. Like he's saying, listen, the research is done right in front of your eyes. You really need to stop this moonshot business like ASAP. Don't even wait another day. Why are they saying that? Why is he saying that? Brothers and sisters, you see the dirty, mean deer, only when the people drop down and die, you see the mean deer will come in and say, oh, 28-year-old fall ill and die suddenly. That one fall ill and die. But they're not reporting. They're not reporting and they're not telling the people, they're not telling the world and said, um, yeah, good amount of people have been going to their GP with heart problems, with heart inflammation caused by the moonshot. They're not reporting that. But as soon as they drop down and dead, it's like a ritual. Satan's mouthpiece. That's what I call the mean dear. Satan's mouthpiece. Because that's who they are. Anybody in journalism, if you're not saved, I'm telling you, you need to get out. You ain't going to enter the kingdom of heaven doing journalis journalism if you're lying. If you're lying. Because there's so much lies, so much fakery, so much false truth in journalism. It's wicked. So... The mean, dear, they have the strength and the guts to come out. It's almost as if they're boasting, yeah, another one has kicked the bucket today. We'll put it in our page. And they'll tell you, oh, this one has died, this, this star has died, that one, oh, oh, so sad. But they're not reporting and not letting you know how many people are now going to their doctors with soul and heart, swollen heart. Problem with their hearts because of the moonshot. Brothers and sisters, I've been warning and I've been saying it for nearly a year and a half that the moonshot is very, very, very wicked. This MP calls on the dirty Caesars to halt the use of the moonshot because it's literally messing up people. Do you hear what I'm saying? It's like a, a weapon. It's like a weapon. And he has the guts because you know you can't really come out and say anything about the moonshot. They'll have you. They'll kill you silently. They'll wipe you off the face of this earth. But this man have braved it. It says uh, Babylon, Babylon UK. It's not Babylon UK, but he's from Babylon. A Babylon UK MP. And for those of you are watching me, if you don't know what an MP is, it's like a congressman, isn't it? What do they call them in Babylon US? Congressman, congresswoman, um, lawmaker, those type of people in, in the house of Senate, Senate type people, yeah? Those are the people, right? But we call them MP over here. So uh, Babylon, Babylon UK MP has called on the dirty Caesar, Caesars to suspend the use of mRNA moonshot due to safety concern. And I call his name, this MP is called Andrew somebody, right? Um... The guy got up in Parliament and made a plea. He plead with the dirty Caesars. Plead. But a pity he didn't do it in 2021. But watch this. He plead with the dirty Caesars to stop the use. Um, 
to stop using the plea with the dirty Caesars to stop using um, a recently approved, recently approved moonshot, oh my God, for small children during a debate focused on the potential arms of moonshot. So this plea is not only for the adults, but it's for the kids. Oh, um, listen, dirty Satan, I'm telling you, Lucifer is after your children, he's after our kids, he's after our children, brothers and sisters. This is why this guy risked his life. See, you cannot, I don't know about Babylon US, but in Babylon UK, you cannot talk anything negative about the moonshot. If you're going to talk about it, it's got to be positive. You've got to praise the moonshot. How wonderful it is. How beautiful. You cannot say anything bad. So he got up and he's risking his life and he's begging these dirty Caesars. Please do not give the little ones. Do not give the little ones this moonshot. Stop it. Because you've got, you might say, oh, it's a Karen, it's the parents. But what you got to understand with, this dirty, with these dirty Caesars? When they come on TV or in the media, whatever means, route they use. When they begin to put the fear of a thing inside these parents. Of course, some of these parents are going like... I don't want me, you know, I love my child. I don't want him to catch this moonshot, this deadly COVID stuff. So, yeah, obviously, we're going to look after them. But it's all fears and lies. And so the parents send their kids to have the moon shot. A low dose poisoner, you know what poisoner is? P F I Z E R, that one. Um, was authorized to be administered to me. God, Jesus. Father God, forgive me. I'm sorry. I'm reading this and my mouth is open now. Babies. <laughs> God Almighty. Are you listening, brothers and sisters? I haven't read this article fully because I just go by the heading because I know what the you know what is all about. But the dirty, nasty Caesars, there's, there's not a name to sum them up. What's the worst name Yesiah used in the Bible to describe the wicked? Children of Satan. You're, you're, ye are the fathers. Ye are, you, you, you're, you're fathers of the devil. Can I speak? Foxes. They call Herod a fox, ain't it? These dirty foxes calling themselves Pharaoh, Caesars, leaders. Mighty God of creation, a low dose, low dose poisoner, moonshot, was authorized to be administered to babies as young as six months old. Oh God, Father, mm -mm. six months over here in Babylon, Babylon UK is doing this six month old. And children as old as four years old by the medicines and health products regulatory system earlier this month. So if it's earlier this month, so this is in December. When was this article written? Yeah, this was in December. Mighty God of creation. Earlier this month, December 2022, the dirty devils authorized baby six months to get the moonshot. The... Brothers and sisters, listen, we have to live on our knees because we're up against people who look human and they're not. This is what, this is, this is spiritual wickedness in our places. Why would you want to give babies? Why? Because Satan wants to turn them into something that is not you, that is... Not human. By the time he's finished, is that dirty devil? So this MP got up in the House of Parliament down in Downing Street and he said, Listen, mates, listen, mates, listen, <laughs> listen. The moonshot is not safe, not effective, and it's not necessary. Thank you. 
it is not necessary. So if it's not necessary, why are they giving it? We know that this moonshot business, it's not you don't you don't have to have it, right? Because your own body can fight off this thing. So if it's not necessary, then why push it on the people? Why give it to young babies? Why? Because the agenda is more sinister and more wicked. Imagine uh, how I can put this agenda to you for you to imagine what I'm talking about. Imagine Chucky. <laughs> Don't laugh. Chucky, yeah? Chucky. Chucky. <laughs> imagine Chucky, right? You know that dolly, that wicked dolly. We used to watch Chucky when we were a little bit, ain't it? Imagine Chucky. Imagine Freddy Krueger. Imagine Killer Clown. <laughs> Stay with me. Imagine um, Jason. All right, Jason cannot die. No matter how you could chop him up, everything, put it, he just regenerate himself. I want to, I just want to put things in perspective. And which is the other evil movie? And Candyman. Chucky. Freddy. Candy. Jason. And five of them, ain't it? And another one, all right? Okay. Imagine all of those entity coming at you. All of them. That's the agenda. That 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 is how strong the agenda is. And that is that, that, that is what they're doing. They're backing us up in a corner so that we bow to the agenda. But you mustn't bow because our king is greater. Hallelujah. Yesiah. Bible says that greater is he that is in us than he that is in. My thing is cut out, you see? My iPad gone blank because I'm reading completely blank and it's not, um, it's got charge, got 96% charge. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. So, we're seeing the agenda. So this guy is saying, um, yeah, it's not necessary. It's not safe and it's not effective. How many people you know that's had the moonshot one time, two time, even three time, they end up dead anyways, or they still get the, the devoc. They still have it. So why, why force it on people? Because it's an agenda. Isn't it? Right? Oh, my Lord. So, this guy is really fighting and he's saying, we need to, you, you know, the dirty Caesars, they really need to stop it. But they've not approved it for babies, six-month-old babies and four-year-olds. <clears throat> low dose, they call it low dose. This is a built-up for the mark of the beast, isn't it, brothers and sisters, really and truly? When you look at the situation because people are gonna cry blue murder now and said look i'm not giving my child no div, no moon shot because the, the the truth has gone out there and people are now weary about the moon shot and they know the side effects so i don't think that yeah maybe few few and in between parents might foolishly go get their little ones to have it because of pressure but when the dirty sees and realize and see that, okay, it's not working, you know, people are not coming for the moonshot as how we want them to, then they're going to eventually bring out the mark. Because the mark of the beast is a type of control. Interestingly enough, I was talking to one of my sisters, beautiful beloved in the most die, and um, she said to me that we're talking about the moonshot. We're talking about the moonshot and stuff like that. And she said, um, her, she was having a conversation with, with another sister. She's a, like a prophetess in the most time. And she said that the Lord told the sister how wicked the moonshot is. Very, the Lord told this prophetess 
that the moonshot is very, very wicked. And so she asked the Lord, she said, like she said, Father, what's going to happen to these people that have taken the moonshot? And she said that the Lord replied back, Ahaya, replied back to her and said, they will suffer. Some serious consequences. This is the reason why when I do videos concerning the moonshot, I always say to brothers and sisters, if you have taken the moonshot, you really need to pray. Like, this is no joke business. Just because you're okay, you're walking up and down, you're healthy, no side effect, it is still inside of you. It's not like you take it and it's worn off. If that was the case, then happy days. Do you know what I mean? Happy days. But that's not, that is not the case. This is, this thing is like, how can I put it? Inside your body, it's like a, a glow, a, no, a glow, not, not glow. G, glow. It's like a dark, another word that the Lord is giving me. Inside of your body, I'm trying to explain to you what I'm seeing in the spirit. Because people think that they've taken it, it's worn off. That's what the dirty Caesar tells you, isn't it? The dirty, nasty Caesar. They said, oh, yeah, take it. It wears off. It doesn't wear off. It stays inside. It's like a, a dark. Hmm. It's a word. I um, can't, can't think of the word. Um, a dark glow. Not a glow, glue. It's, it's something like a glue. It's sticky. As I'm trying to explain, it's, it's very sticky inside of you. But it's black. It's black, what I'm seeing in my spirit. Black glue. Go, go, go. That's the word. Go. Yes, Father, goo, black goo. I've heard that word before. Let's, 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 let me, black goo, black goo. Yes, Father, thank you, heavenly. I knew I had it there, but just couldn't get it. Black goo, that's it. Thank you, Lord. That's what I'm hearing in my spirit. There's a black goo. All right. Um, what's black goo? Let me see if, um, if they got a meaning. Black, but you know what I mean, black goo. I've heard that word before, brothers and sisters. Um, but that is what I hear in my spirit. Black goo. That's what's inside of these people. Oh, black goo definition. There's a little definition because there's loads of stuff on them, black goo. But black goo, G-O-O, -O, the definition. I will need my glasses, ain't it? See, I have my iPad out there like that. I can't even see, really. <laughs> Getting old, in it? All right, yeah. So, uh, black, black goo. So, on here it says it's a, a disease of the vine. Right. Also known as black goo disease or black goo decline. So, it's some form of disease. I ain't never lie. I heard it in my spirit as I'm talking to you. As I'm literally talking to you, brothers and sisters, and I'm trying to explain that some people believe just because of taking the moonshot one time, two time, it's automatically just worn out of their body. No. Lord says, no, 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 no. And I heard in my spirit, it's sticky like a black go, go, black go, black go. That's what I heard in my spirit. Go research a black go. That's why people need to pray. Because it has not gone out of you. It is there. Much prayer is needed. So this prophetess says that the people who have taken the moonshot will suffer. Well, we've already been saying it. That's why I would say to loved ones, pray. Nothing beats prayer. Prayer is the key. Hallelujah to his holy name. So yes. So yes, brothers and sisters, so the fighting in parliament not to give babies the moonshot because it's wicked. It's not necessary, really and truly. It's not necessary. So stay away from that stuff, all right? Top 20 Beautiful Beloved, a very, very powerful video that I did concerning um, the great white throne judgment that that one is coming. 
<laughs> you don't want to be in the Great White Throne, really. You really want to be either in the second Exodus or the sixth seal when it opens. That is where you want to be. Because I'm telling you, if you're left behind, it's going to be very, very hard. Very, very difficult. You want to make sure you're living holy now. It pays to live holy and righteous for your sire, honestly. The devil is a liar. The devil come to you and said, oh, it's boring. No, it's not. Trust me. We are just pilgrimage, just passing through this wicked world. I have, I just, yeah. Nothing in this world entice me. Nothing. Nothing in this world entice me. Believe me, brothers and sisters. But anyways, Stacy and Small, John Anderson, um, <clears throat> Juleth, Bailey, Liliane Wilson, Yuza, HW5JX, Jereen Smith, Abibi Samson, Renita Miller, Latre, Latriva Lane, um, Kenesha Beauty, Asana Brownie, Purple Posh, Istro Beats, um, Nona Nunab, three three two one Nunab. Audi Wheeler, Honeybee one nine eight. Omarowa Balanje, Renovate DMV. Worship the real Father Ahaya. I think she's. I think you got a daughter at the end, sweetheart. And I'm sure. But worship the real father, Ahaya. I think the daughter's cut off. <laughs> All right. Donna Ramsey. Edna Gaese. Peda Todd. Vakima Young. And Paulette Allen. Top 20 beautiful beloved. In the most stunning, a very powerful video. Concerning, concerning, um... The great white throne judgment. All right. Come to the end of the video. If you have not known Yesiah as Lord and Savior, please say the sinner's prayer after me. Dear Yesiah the Christ, I know that you are the son of a higher whom the world calls God. I believe that Yesiah died on the cross for my sins, Yesiah. I thank you for dying for me, and I believe in your death, burial, resurrection, and that Ahaya has raised you from the dead. I know with confidence that you are the son of Ahaya. Yesiah, King of Glory, I come before you right now and I'm asking you to wash away all my sins and to forgive me for all that I have done wrong. I repent from my wicked ways, Ahaya. I thank you for your beautiful son, Yesiah, and I pray that you will help me to live a life of repentance and give up the things displeasing to you in this world. Thank you for salvation and for saving me. If you said that prayer, you believe it with your heart. Welcome to the body of Christ. We believe in Acts 2, verse 38. It talks about repentance. You've done the repenting part. You know, need to find a man from most higher, asking to fully dunk you, fully baptize you in water when you go down in water. You're saying that you say that on the cross. You believe in the atonement of sin when the man of the most high raised you out of the water. You're raising to new life. You're raising to the glory and the power of Christ's resurrection. Beautiful stuff. So be bold, be strong, be courageous. Walk with a higher, just like Enoch, all praises, all beautiful praises to the most uh, higher who lives above the heavens. Ahaya, eternally bless you. I love you all. And I will see you soon someday in glory. In Yesiah's holy name, amen and amen. Benediction, Jude chapter 1, verses 24 to 25. The Bible reads, Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise Yesiah, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power both now and ever. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.